Good to see you, brothers. And you, mate. Good, good to, to see you. On your thousandth birthday. Uh, by, kind of. by thousand, my thousandth birthday. Well, essentially, it is, isn't it? Well, I suppose it is. <laughs> I suppose well, you it can is. Celebrate like it is. I, I, I sort of, I sort of get it. Yeah, I sort of get it. Yeah. Um, enormous thanks, by the way, to Lisa and Nicola. I think it is. It's a, it's a very controversial issue our use of language isn't it yeah but so. it very it really and I think it's like Kate said early doors it's the tone of how it's done as well yeah. makes yeah. a big difference in the context absolutely and what's the problem yeah and you, interesting you just came in at the at the end of that and you thought we were going to be talking about the chase but actually you're now the uh, the appointed expert on language in yes fact. of course I am because yes it's my doctorate in in English language that I have and well you uh, must be an expert on everything now because yes, how many correct. questions have been asked on the chase a how many what are you asking about that <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to know that <laughs> Over 100,000. It'll be more than that. Oh, is it? Well, hold on. We just asked and you that. said you didn't know. I know, but it'll be, it would be more than that across a thousand shows. <laughs> this is going very well. I don't, I don't ask a hundred questions as a show. It's more than that. It's got to be more than that. Has to be more than that. We'll, get to, it? we'll get to the bottom of it. Let's get to the bottom of that. Ha, there's, there's a number of. of what I want to get to the bottom of is something more impressive and more important, folks. Here, a thousand social day at five o'clock, the chase. That's what it's all about. But there's something more pressing here in the GMB studio. And I'll tell you what that is. What a wonderful view of the Thames that is. But if you watch carefully, folks, the same bus will come by about four <laughs> or five times. And the same boat. You know why? Because it's not real, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. It's a real, it's a real, it's a real shot. When it was shot, it's just boomeranged. It's just looped. It's not even a window, folks. <laughs> <laughs> try and, op Don't try and open it. The window. Yeah, but yeah, windows bang like that. It's not a window. Windows you, bang like you that. You wait for ages, and then the same bus keeps coming <laughs> over and, and the over boat, again. There'll be another boat along in a minute. <laughs> anyway, go on, carry on. Thousand show. One hundred and thirty thousand questions asked. Yeah. 130,000. I just you worked out my head. Calculation. I just worked it out, yeah. A thousand episodes is extraordinary considering I went up to the uh, office for a cup of tea. That's all I did and a chat. This is when the commissioner sort of said, Yeah. Didn't you famous, this is a great, it's a famous story about where she found the, well, you said to me, where she found the treatment for this. You were saying, I want to do something about it. She goes, Oh, I've got this. Took it out of the bin. Or yeah, no, she took it, uh, pressed the button, uh, and a lady called Di Howie brought it in. It was Ali Sharma. And Ali Sharma pressed the button, Di said, Well, tell me what you think of that. Well, yeah. I looked at it, said, Take that home, have a look at it. I came back, I said, Yeah, I quite, yeah, I think that might work. Well, we're going to do an office run through. I did the office run through. And, uh, and that, that office run through, um, oh. Sean Wallace, the chaser you saw there, mm. the barrister was there, and uh, we, I took the mickey out of him relentlessly. And they loved all that, and they said, you know, we're going to do a pilot. I said, I'll do it for you. And I was doing Law and Order at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't doing uh, any entertainment. I was doing drama. And uh, it was pu pu pure luck. I was outside the building, and I rang um, the head of daytime at the time. I said, can I have a meeting and a cup of tea? He said, yeah, any time you like. Where are you? I said, well, I'm here now. And they went, oh, come up. And that was it. That's exactly where it started. That's how much you wanted it. And then six, it. Seven, yeah. So more than that, I just happened to be there. Yeah. Right place, right, right time. Right place, right time. Yeah. Odd. And, yeah. But then to make it work as well. And that's the magic of, of, <coughs> of a great quiz show format is the format is enthralling, but then it's the other stuff that goes with it. I think, yeah, it's the glue that's in between. Yeah. I think we have such a laugh. I mean, uh, Anne, uh, Mark, Anne Hegarty, Mark Labette, mm. uh, Jenny Ryan, Paul Sinner and Sean Wallace are fantastic. Who's fun. your favourite? Uh, I have all favourites. You see, you see Sean Wallace here. Don't stumble, brothers. You see, no, you see Sean Wallace. You see Sean Wallace. He and I, because he's very stern. You know, he's got to be like, you know, the barrister. He's very stern, but we, he and I, have such a laugh. Because once you get him going, there's no stopping him. He really goes, he laughs, he says. They are very competitive, though. We did some, we've done some Tipping Point Lucky Stars, and we had the chasers, the four chasers, the original ones, the yeah. Jenny didn't come on, came on, and they took on the machine on Tipping Point, and they, they were relentless. Obviously, we had to up the questions, yeah, because, yeah. of course, you've got these yeah. four professional quizzes. But watching them go at it, they were relentless with each other as well. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, they are. And, of course, they are professional quizzes. Anne Hegarty, for instance, is the number two female quizzer on the planet, and there's millions of Who people. Who beats her? Uh, well, there's a, a lady from Lithuania, I believe, but she was number one, and Paul Sinner is number 14 in the world, male mm. and female. Globally. And, and, and it's not like there's only five people turn up. I mean, we're talking yeah. thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. The things that, that everybody loves, though, Brad, and you've given away lots of money, is, is when you lose it and when you call. Have you got a favourite? Mm, uh, well, there's one, there's one on YouTube. But apparently, there's a whole YouTube channel devoted to me uh, <laughs> for the, where I keep losing it. But <clears throat> the question setters do it to, deliberately to me because I never see the questions. No. So I don't look at the questions. Mm -hmm. And then when a question comes up, it catches me by surprise, and I say it. I'm a bit like Anchorman, you know, at the end of Anchorman, yes. he just reads the order cue. That's me, <laughs> and so they've got me. Uh, but we we have such a we have such a scream on it. It's oh, great fun to do. Brilliant. Well, great it's fun it's to a, do. a fantastic master. You haven't come on yet. Why haven't you been on? Too scared. Shep.
I, uh, Bradley, I'd love to come on. If you come and do Tipping Point, I'll do the chase. That's not by art. Uh, that on. sounds like a deal in the making, come though. On. And Piers. He's got to come on as well. Yeah, has he not done on. it? He'd be keen to come on, wouldn't he? You've all got to come on. You've all got to come on and do it. You yeah. must come on and do so, it. So uh, uh, Garraway represented us so well yes. when she came on. Try it. What, it did you, what did you win? I can't quite remember, but I remember it was brilliant. That's nothing, isn't it? You went I didn't nothing. fail at the first hurdle, and that for me is triumph. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. Bradley, always lovely to see it's you. It's lovely to see you. Enjoy thank the thousand so celebrations. Yep, thank uh, you very much indeed. Love to the family. And yours as well. Yeah, and love to everyone. Good morning, everyone, and hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Well, I didn't get in the business to be famous. I got in the business because I saw what my father did. And I work hard. I've never felt naturally gifted um, at a talent. I felt that I've had to work at it. And I'm an anxious person, you know. I have to, I have to fight against my 